Welcome to Path Soundbites IGTV. Keeping new music alive is what I do on the radio and now on video. Conducting live chats with the artists and learning the story behind their latest release and also playing their new video. Special thanks today to my sponsor, GoGo Tuners, for all guitar players looking for a focus on ease of use, readability, durability, and accuracy. Look no further. The GoGo Tuner is the choice of many touring professionals and a favorite of casual players. GoGo's signature green your in and red your out screen makes tuning quick and easy. For more information, go to the website at gogotuners.com. Special thanks to WBXO Classic Rock Radio Redefine, allowing me to keep new music alive on the radio airwaves on the Pat Show every Sunday from 5 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. Only on WBXO Classic Rock Redefined. And a big thank you to Mr. Evan Balzer. For allowing me to use his amazing instrumental that you're hearing right now. It's called Trails. To find out more incredible music by Evan, go to his website at evanbolzer.com. And my special guest today is acclaimed blues singer Patty Parks from Buffalo, New York. And Patty is super excited about the release of her brand new album, Whole Nother World. Produced by the amazing Kenny Neal on his record label, Booga Records. I'm going to talk to Patty about this incredible album. We're going to play the track, I'm in Trouble. We're going to talk about her amazing program, Nurse and Blues Education Program. And a whole lot more with Patty Parks right here on Pat Soundbites IGTV. Hey, live on Pat Soundbites, IGTV, rocking the world, keeping new music alive on the radio and on video. You know that's what I do. And man, do I love not only rock, classic rock, but I love the blues. And I got a New Yorker in the house, and she is taking the world by storm, let me tell you, with a whole album that is like number one on the charts. And before I get in trouble, because one of the tracks is I'm Trouble. Welcome from Buffalo, New York, Buffalo Music Hall of Famer, acclaimed blues singer, and boy, can she sing, the beautiful Patty Parks in the house. How are you, Patty? Oh, I'm great. I thank you so much for that introduction. Holy, holy moly. Holy moly. Well, holy moly is having a number one album on the Roots Music Report Top 50 soul blues album for a couple of weeks i mean is, is that not a pinch myself moment i mean come on oh yeah i'm ecstatic about it are you kidding me you know i didn't expect the the album to take off like it did but boy are we grateful we're so grateful it was a great experience that's why i called it a whole nother world so to be able to share the the vibes of the album it, it just i'm so excited about it especially to be able to share it with new york where i where i live you know right. it's, it's just unbelievable well i love it i just i was playing it the last couple of days and it's right behind me the cover i'm, I'm blocking this beautiful woman behind me and uh you need to go get that and uh eight killer tracks and um the ones that stick to me really were i'm trouble uh sticking to my guns and i can't think were the ones that like grabs me after listening it to about two or three times so those are the ones i'm going to throw on the rotation in the beginning and see how we can do to help you out um but really cool stuff i, I guess um let me ask um did you do you write your own songs patty there are some songs um that i have written but they're not on this album some of these songs actually were um, in a project from about 25 years ago that never really came to light because the original singer unfortunately died very young. And so uh. this was an opportunity for me to, you know, run with it and, and kind of do it my own way. So I was excited to be part of that offering. So I, I, I took it and I, and I went and I ran with it. 
Good for you. Well, they're they're really cool tracks. And I see that this was recorded at Kenny Neal's studio, which has got to be pretty cool down in Baton Rouge. And the album was released officially on May 28th on Kenny's Booga Records label, if I'm saying that right. And he produced, arranged, and even performs. Uh, which song did I want to say? Uh, Baby B, I think he was on, right? Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's a, an acoustic. Um, which I normally don't do, right? And so I was kind of taken out of my comfort zone. And he plays acoustic, he sings on it. He's got a beautiful, soulful voice, right? And he plays harmonic as well. So all through the album, he does play lead, he plays guitar, he plays, you know, um, acoustic as well. But his voice is like butter. It's beautiful. You know? But isn't, isn't that what makes a really great producer? Like you said, I never do acoustics but they take you out of your your boundaries and you say whoa i never thought of doing that or enunciate this way or sing that way or let's add a harmonica part to it and rearrange some of the songs and before you know it you you probably weren't even thinking the way he brought it he put it together and uh put it in a blender and pulled it out and you go i love it isn't that oh it is that way i mean think about it for a minute i'm used to you know, I live in Western New York, so I generally record here. Um, I usually know the musicians, and to be asked to go down to Baton Rouge to record this, this is by, a, of course, by, a, you know, uh, a Grammy nominee who's invited me to go down to Baton Rouge to record. And, you know, he set the whole thing for me. In other words, the vibe, the feel, by picking me up at the airport and then taking me where, you know, his friends reside in Baton Rouge, and it was almost like it was warped in time in the sense that there's like everybody's jamming in their garages and, you know, took it for some catfish. And I think he was, you know, uh, very subtly, you know, having me engage in the feel and the vibe of the area and the community. Right. So we're talking about a strong sense of community there, music community. So I was way out of my comfort zone. And that was a good thing, like you said, because, you know, he's brilliant that way. He was, you know, it's almost like preparing for a skit right only i didn't really know this was happening and it was really really wonderful you're right and he created in real time and i did not have backing tracks like at home to practice oh no these were live musicians in his studio that wow. i did not know yeah how, how cool is that i i've done some work i, I worked on uh re uh, renovating a 911 center outside of new orleans so I was back and forth for like three or four years before Katrina and after Katrina. And the minute that they picked me up and, and I got to hang out in New Orleans City and I'm like, oh man, I'm in love listening to this whole different element of jazz and blues. And I'm like, oh. what? I'm like, oh, this yeah. is crazy. And they get into it. So I know exactly what you're talking about. One of my favorite areas. I haven't been to Baton Rouge, but New Orleans, oh boy, fasten your seatbelt. Forget oh, yeah. about the drinking and partying. Just walking down and looking at the French Quarter and the buildings and the structure. And you yeah. just you just suck that all in. I mean, every door is open. You don't know which bar to go into. Oh, you know, it's, it's so culturally risk or um, and, you know, beautiful and vibrant. It's like, oh my God, you're in heaven. It like you said, you know. It's rich. It's rich in culture. Beautiful. I, I, yeah, those are great words to say. So when I'm looking, Patty Parks up, it brought me to a 2013 album, Cheat and Man. Because I said, well, let me hear what this is about. And I fell in love with Baby Don't You Know and Mama. And oh. so my question is, why the, the, the length of time between albums? I know you're a working nurse. Um, you're just a family and said, I got to get back on the, the bicycle here. Well, you know, I, I I perform a lot and, you know, I think that, you know, we had, I've been on other albums where I've been guest vocalist and it really wasn't in my, in my thought then, you know, I, I said, you know, if you're coming up with a product, it's got to be good. Um, and there was a time that we did a, um, we started to kind of figure out some originals and we had someone that was going to target that with us with, I mean, the project. And it didn't turn out the way we wanted. And so we sort of had a bad taste. We didn't finish for a while. And then after I had conversation with Kenny, it just seemed like that was the right thing. And that was the best timing in my life. Like you had said, a lot having to do with career, a lot having to do with, 
you know, finding your way and not being satisfied with what you're doing every day. So in other words, yeah, I could perform probably, you know, five, six times a week, but I had to find that other piece of who I am and right. something that I didn't dabble in before, you know, just like anybody else who's been in their, a job for a long time and you're getting bored. So I wanted to find that. I, I just felt like I hadn't really found that particular part of me and be able to deliver the lyrics in the way I wanted to. Well, I think you found it now. And I, it's great to see that folks in Australia, New Zealand, and Europe, and even in the States are still playing tracks on the radio off of your debut album. But this album, A Whole Nother World, brings it up to a whole different level. And it's really fantastically produced and very clear. And I love every minute of it. Let me talk about your great vocals. Boy, I, the minute I said to John, she can sing. Did you how did when, let me let's go even back further, Patty? Where did you find the love for music before we get into the whole singing? Is uh, mom and dad was your family musically inclined? What yeah. was it that you said, I yeah. need to do this? Well, let me tell you something I, I grew up as a ham bone, you know, I was always like that. I was uh, that was like an innate thing. You know, I'd be at a wedding four years old, they used to laugh about it, and I would be in the middle of everybody dancing or doing whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, my mom would sing to me all the time. My dad was uh, a violinist and, you know, and my brother played clarinet and, um, you know, they weren't real serious musicians, but I started to play the cello um, and I loved the cello. It's closest to the human voice. And I was about 16 years old and I studied with, you know, the first chair of the Philharmonic. So at that time, Part of me was going, oh, you know what? I want to do the same. I want to, I want to be in a philharmonic. So I was very serious about that. Um, but I, I was a closet singer. And what I mean by that, and people in New York will know, will identify with this. When I was a little girl, my mother took me to uh, live performances of Liza Minnelli. Oh. And when yeah. Liza Minnelli hit the floor singing, Mammy, I looked at, I said, I want to be her. Um, and but then, of course, how does a connection happen with the blues, right? So that's the other part of my life. So um, I started to sing, and I would sing for hours, hours in my room to Liza Minnelli. I just loved her. Um, and I was young. And as I got older, I ended up, you know, making some changes. But first, I was in a band. Um, there was a trio, and I was a vocalist then that was about 18. And they, they were going to start to go on the road. And my mother said, absolutely not. <clears throat> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that broke up. But the funny part about it is, um, you know, as life would have it, I took door number two. I was supposed to take door number one in my life. And I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. And so that really precluded me from any music in my life, which was kind of a sad thing. It was like a bushel over my light, my my spirit, my light, my soul. And um, so that's why there was also a big gap. And then... Believe it or not, one of those gentlemen from my trio when I was 18 years old saw me at a Harley convention in downtown Buffalo. I didn't, at that time, I didn't ride a motorcycle. I don't even know Patty! why I was here. <laughs> and, yeah, and it was like, do you remember me? And he said, he said to me, he didn't, but he said, that's okay. <laughs> I will talk, to, you know. But anyway, he said, are you still singing? And I said, no, that's over. And he said, if I put a microphone in front of you, it's all over. And then he encouraged me to listen to the blues. And I got to tell you, all of the stuff that I had gone through because I took the wrong door, I was able to vent and use that type, this beautiful genre as, you know, self-expression, um, sense of resilience, all of that. And that was the best fit for me ever. And then, you know, shortly after that, I was an international blues competition. And then I went into, you know, doing things, um, national women in the blues in Memphis, Tennessee, toured, blah, 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 blah. So I was very, very busy, and that's how it got connected. Good things happen to good people. We all sometimes open up door number two and three, but I don't have any regrets, and I am keep moving forward, and I knock down every door that gets in my way. You that's don't have right. a radio voice. You don't have this. You don't have that. Excuse me. Pardon me. Whatever. I'm figuring it out, and you could talk to me some other day. So good for that's you. Right. That's and, right. And um, – as I mentioned before, uh, Buffalo Music Hall of Famer, I read in 2016, which has got to be like, wow, 
in your own hometown, which is really, really cool. I want to yeah. say like the Goo Goo Dolls are a, a buffalo. I want to say my bud Lou Graham, a foreigner, is a yes. Rochester buffalo guy. Um, yeah. um, I, I got to think yeah. about a few more, but uh, yeah. that's cool. So congratulations. Thank and you. you're a nurse. God bless you taking care of all of us crazy people that come in crying. I got an earache. I don't feel good. <laughs> and then we get COVID and oh, I can't even imagine. God bless yeah. you. And thank you so much for what you have done as a nurse. So I'm sure you've been doing that for quite a while, but nurse and nurse and blues education program is a wow, a program that incorporates blues into music therapy, helping young children, helping high risk children at drug rehab centers. Please talk to me about that. And thank you for doing that. And, uh, and I know you, I, I, you're involved with other uh, foundations and charities. So my goodness, Patty, talk yeah. to me. So I, first of all, thank you for asking about that program. Cause that's really true to my heart. Um, so, you know, uh, we all know how difficult it is or know someone that's dealing with chemical dependency, but when it hits home, it, it makes it that much worse. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, one of my children suffered from chemical dependency and I felt so frustrated and not being able to help him. I mean, yes, mother him. Yes, not, you know, support, you know, the, the bad habit that he had and support him as a human being and the struggles he had. Um, and so that, that, made me think about how can I use the scientific piece of my medical background and also use this beautiful genre, which is reflective of survival, resilience. Um, and so what I did is I, I founded a program where we have a board certified music therapist. So I don't go in and I perform music. I don't have those expertise. I, you can enjoy my music. But from a therapeutic level, we needed a board certified music therapist. Gotcha. So it's been probably, I want to say seven or eight years. We've served 1500 people. Wow. From girls 13 to 18 that live on a campus and they're beautiful angels. Um, and also our young, our older adults, we have a program there and we do, we mirror and we use blues music as a supportive way for people to get involved with, you know, unveiling those deep rooted issues. But, um, but it's been wonderful and we will continue. And um, as a matter of fact, we're part of not only our blue society in our area, but um, you know, from the Goo Goo Dolls, we're talking about Robbie Taytek. We're also involved with Music is Art. So, Excellent. you know, um, we're really, really happy about that. Man, good for you. See, you found a way and kicked the door down that I got to figure this out. And you did, and without hesitation, you're helping hundreds of kids out there and other folks. And that is anybody that does anything for the kids or anybody out there that volunteers. I'm a past fire chief. Um, you know, anybody that gets in the batter's box, doesn't matter what you do to help others, means a lot to me. How can we, how can our listeners or the folks that will listen to the podcast worldwide, is there a, a link that they can, folks can donate to your, to the program, Patty? Yes, the, the money is actually funneled through two non for profit. Um, the Western York Blues Society is one, and that's right on their website, dot org. Okay. Or you can go to Music is Art, and there is a link there as well. Excellent. I love it. Dan, man, I want to give you a hug. We got to get you down here to Poughkeepsie. I see tomorrow night, Patty's going to be at the Thin Man Brewery right in Buffalo. So, uh, which is cool. Is this your first show in a while since uh, COVID? Or? Actually, it's the second. We were at another well-known place for the blues in, in Buffalo called Sportsman. And it was wonderful. So I have actually a concert series. So this is where my album's being released. Um, the next one after this is a fairly big place. It's called Samuel's Grand Manor. So there's a lot of hotels around there. So I would love to see the support of my fellow New Yorkers because I got to tell you something. I am so happy to represent, uh, especially when I'm going through the country and representing blues. Um, I don't know how vibrant blues is where you are, but I can honestly tell you people are surprised because where I live, you could probably hear blues seven days a week. Well, it's rocking in the Hudson Valley. We have the Hudson Valley Blues uh, Society, which I am a part of. We have oh. Daryl's house, Daryl oh, Hall's yes. 
venue house. in our backyard here. So I would love to introduce you on that stage, which I had Anna Popovic and yes. Eric Gales and Albert Castilla oh, yeah. and Walter Trout. Walter oh, yeah. loves me. Did nothing better than calamari and trout. You have the appetizer <laughs> and, and you got the entree. Walter, I love it. Taz, oh. Taz Cruz. Yes. Mm -hmm. Taz has the books with the dogs and the blues and teaching oh, the blues yeah. in blues in school. I think he's in the Mohawk uh, blues region somewhere in New York. Yes, but he is. Yeah, we have yeah. the town crier, which is big. We have the falcon, which is we got. We're surrounded by six. Great venues that are just open the doors. Slam oh. Allen's here all the time. We I'm coming. To, I'm coming. You convinced me. We got I'm on the way. You need to come. Well, look, I I have no problem going to Buffalo. I got a lot of friends in Buffalo. That's not a problem. Buffalo, Syracuse, Rochester is all good. But we need you down here so I'd you can you. you can run into uh, expand that that wonderful uh, fan base of yours down here which is cool so any i know i think there's other i didn't write them all down patty any other uh, upcoming shows besides uh, i think you were starting to mention tomorrow night yeah actually we have two big blues festivals um and one will be at actually at sharky's um in syracuse and taz crew will be on that as well um and then i'm doing something with papa chubby Papa um, Chubby, he's a yeah. Hudson Valley guy. Yeah, Ted. yeah. We're going to be doing something with Papa Chubby, and that's uh, at a place called Fanatics, and there will be a blues festival there. So we're looking forward to that. that that's in be, Lima, right, I believe? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that'll be in August. Um, and then we have a blues festival in September. Uh, we've got something at the Westfields Arts uh, uh, Center, West Falls Arts Center, and that will be in November. And we're starting to book up all the way for 2022. We'll be heading to Florida and then starting up our trail that way. But I, would, oh. I, I gotta do more in New York. I you gotta, do, you gotta come down. <laughs> City Winery, the Rock Hall, Daryl, the Town Crier. I'll yes. get your, I'll get your email and after we're done here and give you a, a list of uh, Chan's in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, a, a Chinese uh, restaurant on one side, and it's a rock and blues place on another that everybody's oh, wow. been in. You ask Papa Chubby about Chan's and say so you have to do Chan's. That'd be I really love it. cool. I love it. Patty, I hope you, well, before I let you go, uh, you're on Patty Parks band.com any other socials that we could have folks go to i know you're on youtube hit the subscribe button for patty parks you yeah. are you on facebook and any other oh thing? yeah you can yeah on the patty parks band on facebook on twitter um you can reach you, i you can contact me on my website there's a contact place for there i'll be more than willing to answer your questions and get back to you um yeah so there's many opportunities to get a hold of us uh, it's all great i'm going to send you a facebook friend after we get done here so you can see all the craziness that i go through patty it's been a pleasure i can't thank you enough for everything what you do and it makes me want to play your music even more for what you've done for everybody out there you got to go buy this album a whole nother world patty parks it's out there i think it's on amazon it's on apple music it's on all the digital platforms patty are we gonna have a video for uh um, trouble or any of the tracks you know or? what i think we have to i think we should as a matter of fact we are in the makings of it excellent Yep. We need That's it for fun. we need it for Squid TV. I, I gotta have you behind Billy Gibbons. So the 20 million that follow Billy Gibbons and get to see Patty Parks as well. I hope you enjoyed the conversation as much as I have. I have. Thank you so much. You're an angel. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Time to rock. It doesn't get any better than this. Time to rock. Oh, you New Yorker in the house. That's like a first in a long time. Trying to rock Patty Parks right here on Pat Soundbites IGTV because we're all in trouble. Get it today. <laughs> Cause I